you making these five mistakes when using pepper spray? Stay tuned to find out what they are. Hey, it's Ulrich from Stand and Run Self Defense, the place where we help prevent crime and save lives by giving you the tools and education you need to stay safe from harm. Pepper spray is arguably the best, less lethal self defense tool on the market. But people who purchase it for personal protection oftentimes don't understand the basics on how to use it and what pitfalls to avoid. Today we'll go over five don'ts or mistakes to stay clear of when using a defense spray. One, don't carry your spray in your purse or leave it at home or in your car. One of the worst things you can do is leave your pepper spray where you can't access it. Have a dedicated defense spray to carry on your person at all times and one for each designated area, such as your home or vehicle, temperature permitting. For the home, I recommend a 16 ounce big or larger fogger spray. We always highly advise against putting pepper spray in a purse because you won't be able to access it fast enough. If you're aware of the 21 foot rule or the tooler drill, then you understand that there's a huge reactionary gap in attempting to draw your spray out of your purse and then spray your attacker. Good luck digging in the bottom of your purse to get your OC spray out in a high threat situation. There's simply no way you would have enough time to stop someone if they charged at you. Additionally, it's unwise to leave your pepper spray in extreme temperatures. Extreme heat will cause the can to burst and disperse. In extreme cold, the seal on the can will release, causing the can to depressurize. Folks like to leave their spray in their car, so we'll use that as an example. If you leave your OC spray in direct sunlight and it explodes, not only are you out of protection, but your car is now completely peppered as well. It'll take hours to decontaminate. Left in the dead of winter, the seal will eventually fail and your spray will cease to work once the propellant that carries the spray leaks out. So keep your pepper spray out of direct sunlight during extreme heat and out of the car for extended periods when it's below zero degrees. Two, don't spray upwind. When a breeze is blowing, many people make the mistake of deploying their pepper spray right into the general direction of the wind. As a result, they get covered in pepper instead of their intended target. This then makes them completely vulnerable to impending attack. Always spray downwind when dealing with an assailant, otherwise you will be affected instead. A lot of people avoid getting pepper spray for fear of blowback, but if you're aware of your positioning and the dispersal pattern that you have, in your defense spray, then you can avoid or at least minimize this problem from happening. Three, don't use expired pepper spray. Most pepper spray canisters are dated by the manufacturer, typically on the bottom, and are typically good for a period of up to three or four years. Over time, the propellant in the canister loses pressure and becomes less effective as a result. You do not want to use pepper spray that does not or barely even comes out of the can. Doing so is asking for trouble. If you have an expired can, it's generally best to buy another one. Four, don't get close to your attacker. The whole point of pepper spray as a defense tool is to avoid being in close contact with your attacker. You wanna be at least two arms length away in order to be at a relatively safe distance. Always avoid getting close and remember the reactionary gap when handling criminals. In cases where you're confronted at a close range and are unable to gain a distance, a stun gun or other short range defense spray units like the Little Viper Pepper Spray Bracelet serve as better tools. If you are trained in martial arts, use empty hand techniques. Five, don't turn your back on your assailant. Unless you know for sure that he or she is down for the count, it's dangerous to simply spray and run. When trying to get away, always keep your eyes on your attacker. You don't know if they'll come after you right after getting sprayed. Although OC spray is very effective on people who are under the influence of drugs or alcohol due to the inflammatory effects, 
Remember that not everything is foolproof, not even a gun. Anyone with enough determination can fight through the effects and still attack you. When spraying your assailant, be sure to step side to side or sidestep to keep them from contaminating you. And that wraps things up. Have any questions or thoughts? Shoot us an email at sales at srselfdefense.com and we'll be happy to help you out. If you like this video, please hit that bell notification button down below and subscribe so you're kept up to date on all the new content we produce. We really appreciate the support. We'll see you next time. Stay safe out there.